Hi everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking. I have just arrived at the Meat Men site. I've been invited down to see what they're doing. They're a fantastic butcher, I'm told, just on the outskirts of Taunton, who have got something to say. Afternoon folks, we are Ed, Scott, from the Meat Men here in Taunton in Somerset. Um, we have been training now for about two, two and a half years. We started our business really, um, you know, the. Part of the business was uh, we had a, a mobile steakhouse uh, where we were taking our stand to shows and events, uh, offering our dry aged product, dry aged sirloins, ribeyes, rumps, and fillets. Since COVID hit, all the events got cancelled last year. So we started offering customers um, free local delivery uh, for all those that couldn't get to the supermarkets. Um, and from there, uh, we've developed the business. Now we've got this uh, our own unit uh, in Taunton. Uh, we offer wholesale um, cuts to butchers, characters to butchers. We also supply um, hotels, restaurants, uh, village shops, all sorts really, um, as well as our home delivery service. So from here we just had a fresh delivery of our um, uh, shells on the boat, which is sirloins. Uh, we're going to age these now, it's all fat marble meat because that's the, the meat that we like and we love to sell. Um, so all these here we're going to be aging now for 40 days before they're ready for our customers um, to have in their fridge at home, as well as the pubs and, and restaurants. We do different cuts from these really. We can do our ribeye chops that we sell to a couple of pubs, which Meat. is a whole ribeye on the bone. Uh, we actually bone these ones out, and that's where you get our ribeye steaks from, just to show you. You look at the marble in there, that, that there is, well, absolutely gorgeous that is. Mm. Mm. Absolutely fantastic eating quality that is there. Cross, cross section of the, one of the ribs here we've got here, we've just cut this morning. So as you can see with our, our four ribs, um, you know, all, the, all of our beef really, it's just fat marble meat. And all the rumps up through there, look. We've got some rumps here that's been hanging for well, over 60 days now, so it's so something quite there. special really. Down to the top of the beef and sides of beef there. Up there we've got the silver side through there. Top sides in there. That's been hung now for about two and a half weeks, and I think these about a couple of weeks of hanging. That'll be ready to burn out, ready for, uh, ready for the customers. Uh, we've also got our signature horseshoe gammons. Now a lot of butchers tend to buy these in, but we buy our pigs directly from Dave Lockwood, the other side of Clubton. Um, and these are from all, all the pork that we buy from him. So we do everything ourselves in-house. Um, we cure these for seven days, dry them for two, and that's what they're doing now. Um, and then these ones can get, you know, go for our joints of whole gammons or gammon steaks. So our middle's hanging up here, our dry aged bacon, um, we cure it for seven days and we actually dry age it for two. You get, don't get the, no moisture in the pan whatsoever and then develop, develops a fantastic flavour. Uh, some lambs here that Ed bought from Southmore Market this uh, this Monday, fantastic quality. You tend to go, well you need to talk about these ones I suppose. <laughs> um, so basically you're looking for a lamb, you're looking for the best confirmation of fat cover really. Um, as you can see in here, there's one cut there, and you see the, see the, the, eye, of the, the eye of the meat there. There's not too fat there, and there's got plenty of meat in there. You can buy a lot of lambs, you know, which are with what I call it a razor blade, there's no meat in them at all. If that makes sense. You're looking for an animal with good confirmation, being fed properly, you get nice quality meat and um, good yield. So, so yeah, good look, good look of that. So that's fresh spring lambs there. So they're, they're about, you know, four or five months old. It's all about you buy them live, kill them, cut them up, and you, you get a good idea of what's going on, if that makes sense. Yeah. And so I, I've bought lots of lambs in the past, so the more you do, the better you're gonna get, pretty much. Yeah. Um, so I'm always looking for the, some of the best lambs in the market, because um, that's what our customers want. One thing you tend to see Ed do when he's at the market is he'll go along a pen and he'll start putting his hand on, on the backs of the lambs. I mean, really, he's, he's using his hand like an x-ray machine, because when he's, when he's feeding that, that lamb, he can tell if it's too lean, too fat or just right. Um, all of our venison uh, comes from uh, sort of Exmoor and West Somerset really. So this here, there's, there's six types of deer in this country. I'm going to try and name them now. So you've got red, fallow, roe, Chinese water deer, deer, monk jack and seeker. There Seeker. we are. We, uh, we, are we, we tend to buy... You wait to see the edit on that. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, I'll see the, uh, the fat cover on the ribbon and the marble in. Well, that's mainly down to having native cattle. A fed beast um, is a lot better than, in my opinion, the grass-fed uh, beast. I'm just going to get the marbling meat. And then you tend, you won't get that 
uh, on a on a on a on a, on a, on a continental bullock. So we're looking for you know English breeds, you know, the Hereford, um, the Angus, yeah, um, etc. Just you get that fat marbling in the meat. It's it's it's, it's miles apart from you know, the continental cow you can buy. For instance, say that animal there, that was grass fed. You wouldn't have it wouldn't be the colour of it. You wouldn't have the marbling in the meat. It wouldn't be full. Mm -hmm. it, it'd be it'll be leagues apart, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be completely yeah. leagues apart. I I worked in about four different countries. I lived in Australia for two and a half years, and um, I worked on a farm with a, a chap who's the same age as me. He's from Namibia, um, and we could cut up a bullock on the farm, and uh, it's the first time I ever seen built on. So I sort of had his recipe. So this stuff here, he's honestly he is plenty dry enough now, so he's actually done. Difference with our bill tongue is very his recipe was very rich in um, Worcestershire sauce. So amazing. Try that first. Mmm. Got some salami which I've been playing around with. Yeah, we'll try that. Amazing. Some pancetta. One charge as well. I worked for an Italian butcher as well. I was in Perth. You've been about, haven't you? Mm. Wow, what an amazing business that was. I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed meeting Scott and Ed, two top blokes, fantastic business. And the quality of that meat was just unreal. I can't wait to cook with it. I really, really, really enjoy meeting people like that. People who are passionate, knowledgeable about what they're doing and just give a damn. Now they've kindly given me some and I'm now going to be heading to Rich's Cider Farm if you saw the apple juice making video. I'll put a link up here and I'm going to be cooking in the orchard with some of their pork so that hopefully will be an absolute banger. I hope you enjoy the channel. If you do hit that subscribe button that means everything to me and give this video a like. If you've got any questions as always drop them in the comments. If you've got any suggestions for content for me or places or businesses to go again let me know and I will see you soon. Thank you.